All right. So, um, okay, everyone. Welcome, Larry. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. One moment, guys. I can't hear anything. Well, good morning, Larry. Great to, Great to have you on the call. <laughs> I do remember a certain um, charge-up call that Nicole were Nicole and I were scheduled for. And because the charge up call is two or three a.m. in the morning in America, in, in Australia for the American time, uh, we were in Las, Las Vegas and uh, at an Envision, I think it was Nicole. Yeah, and Sally been, was Sally was scheduled to be on that call with us too. That's right, Sally and Amanda were there, and we were out in the nightclub right. with Bobby and Jerry and Trish and Bob at about two or three a.m. in the morning, uh, and the call, the call was scheduled for about nine a.m. Which was fine. We had an alarm set. We would have. We'd been sculling our seer, so we were ready to get up early in the morning. But the time zone got us, and we weren't on Utah time. We were on Las Vegas time, so we were an hour late to wake up. We got the knock on the door. Bang, bang, bang. Open the door. Are you guys ready for your Zoom? And we were like, uh, no. <laughs> we were in bed. We got up and we did a charge up call. And apparently it was awesome. A lot of people come up to us and said, loved what you had to say on the charge up call. And we were going, wow, what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you can do your best work when you first wake up. So is that encouraging, Larry? Are you still on the call with us somewhere? I think he's gone. I think he's gone. And all of that was for him. <laughs> <laughs> You know, sometimes things go to plan beautifully and, and others they just it just doesn't so sorry about that that's life um maybe i should call him find out where he is or i'll go back to my conversation how about i do that Give you some yeah, he's back on again he's yeah. back on again can, can you right. i am so sorry <laughs> for so many reasons good night everybody good morning <laughs> you'll, you'll have to just unmute yourself larry i'll, I'll unmute everyone just, but, but before that, we'll all give you a round of applause. Good morning, Larry. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you for joining tonight. How many people do we have on the, the call today? We have 35. Good, good. Wonderful. A great, great group. I am so excited to have all of you in Australia finally join us on the ASEA Business Coach. I know some of you have been using it for some time, and we have been thrilled the last few weeks working with Justin and Nicole to get this ready for you. Um, so I want to give you a little bit of training, and this will be just the start. We'll be happy to give more to your teams and some advanced training for you down the, the road soon. Uh, Justin and Nicole are, are working tirelessly with us right now to put everything that they know and all of the hard work that they've done over the years into the ASEA Business Coach, teaching Jeannie everything that she needs to know to support you the way they want you supported. And uh, we're just so happy to be to this point. So, um, since especially since I caused us to be late, I don't want to waste any more time. Let's Let's get moving. Um, how many of us, Justin and Nicole, perhaps you can answer, how, how many of the people on this call tonight are already using Genie at least a little bit? Uh, I'd say there's a, a smaller percentage, less than half okay. would be using it. Um, but I'd say that probably at least 50% have used it at some point. Okay, great. Um, yeah. All right. So most of you have had, or at least half of you have had some exposure to Jeannie and the rest are going to be brand new. So with that in mind, um, Jeannie is your, your personal assistant in building your ASEA business. She is trained by your leaders, by Justin and Nicole, and in collaboration with ASEA and their leaders to bring everything they know to 
Do you see a business coach so that she can do what you cannot do when you're not around? If you re recruit someone, uh, enroll them in ASEA as a new associate, uh, they help you get those people started. They also help you continue to build your business by uh, enrolling new people, talking to them about your business. Um, Genie includes, the ASEA Business Coach includes both a desktop component in your web browser and a mobile application. And I'm going to start off tonight by showing you Genie on your mobile device um, and, um, and how to get her on your mobile device. All right, so first let me demonstrate her to you. And I'm going to share my screen, share my, my iPhone with you. Let's see. Now that's a clever trick to share your iPhone over you Zoom. Know? You do that by AirDrop, don't you? Uh, you can do it either by AirPlay or yep. you can do it cabled. Either way works. Yeah. I find that since we're already sharing um, through my Wi-Fi, I get better results out of cabling it. But it's all done through Zoom. It's magic. All right, here we go. We hope that we are now seeing my iPhone screen. Not yet. Let's see. And we that actually it was the first question for tonight was how to get Jenny on the mobile. And uh, the particular, I think the person that asked the question did have a Samsung. So uh, <laughs> if you know how to share one on the Samsung too, uh, that'd be great. There we go. Are you seeing my iPhone screen now? Yes, we are. Okay, as you see, we've got a lot of apps, but the most important one is right there, ABC. And I will show you how to get this on your own device here right after I show you what it does. Um, so I'm gonna touch ABC, and we start the ASEA Business Coach, which we call ABC Quick Peek, uh, as a, a nod to its primary function which is to give someone, uh, your new people, a peek, your prospects, a little taste of what ASEA can bring to them. And so uh, we have just a few simple icons on the home screen of the application. We can send people information. We can look at ASEA's library of, of uh, content. We can look at your contacts and we can change some settings. Now, uh, Justin and Nicole, the login that I have here is not an Australian login. I just realized as I sat down. Uh, so we're going to be looking at uh, somebody else's view, unfortunately, of the library in Genie. Now, the ASEA business coach um, is sensitive to where you do business around the world. And this is going to be particularly important for all of you in Australia and New Zealand because you do business around the world uh, by default. Um, Jeannie knows how to speak multiple languages. She knows the differences about ASEA's business in different parts of the world. And as ASEA spreads to Asia, this will be particularly important for you. So she will show you a version of the library, all of the content in Jeannie's library. For example, this stuff right here. You recognize some of these things. The ASEA Success Guide, Mission, Vision, and Values a global leader in cellular health videos. There's all sorts of content here. And the content that you will see is the content that's been curated for Australia and for your team, okay? So I am now going to uh, show you how to just send some information quickly from the Quick Peek. So I'm gonna touch Send Info. And I'm now looking at my list of contacts in the ASEA Business Coach. These contacts came in through my iPhone, if you have an Android phone, they'll come in from that. Um, but we're going to use this the way I most commonly see the Quick Peek being used, and that's out and about. You're out doing your grocery shopping, you're at the park, you're at the gym, you're wherever you're leading your life, and you run into somebody that you'd like to start talking to about ASEA. And you Larry, do that you're with, doing a great job of prospecting in your ASEA business. You've got so many contacts. Of course I do. <laughs> Well, in your ASEA business, of course, you should be contacting absolutely everyone that you know. Your warm market is your best source 
of referrals. And this is my warm market. And uh, I'm an old guy, and so I have a large warm market. Um, so I'm going to touch Add New, though, right here in the, uh, in the upper right corner. Down here. All right, touch Add New. And uh, some people who are using the, the Quick Peek simply at this point hand their phone to the person they're talking to and say, just put in your information here. So I'm going to just put in, uh, let's say we have uh, John Doe. John Doe and his email address. I'm going to use my email address so that I can send myself some information and show you how this works. And I'm going to use my phone number here in the U.S. And uh, I'm just going to write demo as a, as a user. I, I might say met uh, at uh, Bondi, right? Just, just clarifying that, Larry, uh, the phone number. Do we have our normal phone number? Do we need to do plus six one? Do we just do our normal 04? Uh, that tends to be an area of confusion for many of the Aussies as to how we write our phone number. Right. Um, you need to, to, when you set up your system, uh, ASEA already knows that you are in Australia, and if you're set up to use Genie in Australia, um, you don't need the 6-1, but many of you uh, like seeing the library content as it exists in the United States. You have some additional products. If Genie thinks you're in the United States because you tell her so, uh, you're going to need to use plus 6-1 on your phone numbers, okay? So um, plus 6-1 is, a, is a, a good idea, I think, for all of you. So here I have a new contact. I'm going to touch save and send info in the bottom right. And I'm now taken to the Genie library screen. And the first thing I see at the top of the library screen here is the interest page. CF provides for you with your personal website several landing pages that talk about the ASEA business from different points of view. One of those is purely an opportunity point of view. And you can see here that there are six of them. Opportunity, appearance, which focuses on renew uh, wellness, athlete, medical, and health concerns. And each of these shows an opportunity page and some information and a video. And you may want to experiment with these and see what they do, but I'll say for now, I'm going to use opportunity. That's, uh, that is a web link that we are going to send our prospect. We can, if we wish, also send them some additional information. Now, I personally recommend that on a first, uh, a first contact, you not send very much information. You can talk to them later, find out what they're all about, and send them information that's appropriate to them. Uh, but for now, I'm going to send just the interest page. If I wanted to send other stuff, all I would do is touch the little checkbox next to it, like that, and now I'm sending a link to the opportunity page, and I'm also sending two other documents. And you notice here at the bottom of the screen, it says choose opportunity page plus two. That means those two extra pieces of information. Okay, um, I'm going to send these two extra pieces of information just so that you can see how that works, but again, you probably want less is more as you're introducing people to your business. So I'm going to now choose opportunity page plus two. And I now have two things on the screen. I'm going to shut the second one off so we can focus on the first one. Here is a text message that we can send. John, here's the info I promised to send. I'll call you soon, Larry. And you'll see then two links under that. One is a link to my personal web page with an opportunity focus. Each of you have these web pages. And the second one is a link to a special page created by the ASEA Business Coach that contains the two documents that I want to send them. If I now touch this uh, other button at the bottom, I can also send them an email. And here's the contents of the email. Now at the bottom of the screen, I have preview and send. I'm going to touch that, preview and send. Um, and here is the email, just the way my prospect will see it. I can click those links if I want, but I'm going to click them later. So I'm going to just move on and say send. And this information will now be sent to John Doe at my email address. So I'm going to get this email and show it to you. The email was sent. And now I'm taken to the messages app on my iPhone. 
or I would be sent to the Messages app on my Android phone if that's what I had. And I can now touch send and send off that message, okay? And since I was both the sender and recipient, I immediately received a copy of that message too, right? You can see that there on my phone. Okay, that's what you do typically in the mobile app. And if I come back to the mobile app, I'm now right ready to again send something else. The other thing I most commonly use the mobile app for is I'm out and about again. I'm sitting at the doctor's office. I strike up a conversation with the person sitting next to me and I want to show them something about my business. I can go to the ASEA library, choose my favorite video, whatever that is, something about Renew 28, whoops, Renew. Um, here we have, say, um, I didn't find a video, Renew 28 video. So I could choose just to watch this video right here on my phone and share that with the person that I'm showing to, okay? And everything that ASEA provides to me is available right here in the mobile app. I can even full screen with that. See how slick that is? Okay, so all of the resources that ASEA has provided to you are at your fingertips with this application. All right, now, you're all wanting to know how do I get this on my phone? Well, let me show you. You're going to use, and uh, I'm, we're not gonna have time to get this worked out for everybody, but so follow along closely if you can. If you have an iPhone, I need you to start Safari. Okay, just like that. And if you have an Android phone, I need you to start uh, Chrome, okay? So on your phone now, you're going to type in the following web address into Safari or Chrome, abc.aseaglobal.com. You see I'm typing it up there, abc.aseaglobal.com slash quick. Just like that, you see it? abc.aseaglobal.com slash quick. I'll highlight it here on my screen, hopefully. <laughs> well, you can see it right there at the top. abc.aseaglobal.com slash quick. And then touch go. And there we go. We're, we come to a page that looks very much like my app. Now, this is not all you're going to do because now we need you, what you're gonna see is a login page like this one. Log in with your credentials. Now your credentials to access Genie are your email address as you have provided it to ASEA. And if you have never logged in before, it will be your associate ID will be your password. If you have logged into Genie before, it will be whatever password you set. Okay, so enter those and then touch sign in. And you should find yourself at the home screen just like this. Now, we're not done. We're using it on the phone on a browser, but we're gonna turn this into an app for you. Now, are you with me? It looks like we've got a few questions. Oh. I should have looked at these before. Yes, Justin, I should, should have introduced myself. So I work for Jixity. In fact, I'm the founder of Jixity and we partner with the SIA. We've been partnering with the SIA for about two years now to develop this application that, you see, that you're looking at. Um, I am not a, a, a distributor, although my background is both as a technology entrepreneur and as an executive with network marketing companies. I was uh, the president of a division of New Skin for about seven years and the chief marketing officer at Zango for about uh, three years. And uh, the rest of my career, I've been a technology entrepreneur. So you can see why this all comes together. And I'm passionate about helping people succeed as entrepreneurs and um, succeeding in this business. And that's how we get here. So Justin's put the URL up there. Um, 
Yes, there's some training in the, in the Genie Library. And there you go. Okay, we've got everything we need. Hopefully, you're with me. Now, on an iPhone, uh, the bottom center of your screen right now has a little square with an up arrow in it. You can see it right there. I'm touching it. It's fading away. Okay. Let's see it again. Square with an up arrow in it. Uh, it's consistent on Apple. That's what everybody will see on an iPhone. Now, if you have an Android phone, your experience will vary. Um, every manufacturer of Android phones does this a little bit differently, but usually in the upper right corner, you have some dots that you touch and you'll get a similar menu option to this. So I'm doing this on my iPhone. Um, on this bottom row on my iPhone, I can put my finger on here and slide back and forth. Somewhere on this row, if I slide it back and forth, you will see what is now in the middle of my screen, add to home screen. Okay, so we're going to touch that add to home screen button. Um, on Android, it's similar. It says add shortcut or add to home screen. We're gonna to touch that. And again, there is a video on how to do this. And now we have an opportunity to add a, or to change the name of this application. I like to just call it ABC for a SIA business coach, but you may call it a SIA mobile or whatever you like, type in your name and touch add in the upper right corner. And there we go. You can see in the bottom right corner of my screen here, the application was added and I can simply touch that now and start up my ASEA business coach. Now hopefully you followed along with me and you now have your own live version of the ASEA business coach on your phone. Um, if you do not, we're going to log into the desktop version of Genie Next. In there, you will find in the library a video for iPhone users and a video for Android users on how to do this, so all is not lost, okay? So I'm gonna set this aside now and start sharing my browser. Actually, I'm going to share my entire desktop because we're going to switch back and forth between that and email and text. Okay. Are you now seeing my, uh, my desktop, my browser? Yes, Justin, are we seeing my browser? Okay, good. Yep. Great. All right. So just like in the, in the mobile app, we're going to put in our email address that we are on record with at Genie at uh, ASEA and put in my password, your associate ID, or the password you've already chosen to use with Genie. If this is your first time logging in, you will have a different experience than I'm about to have. Don't move on with that, okay? You can log in right now, but then pay attention to me for the, for the duration here. I think that's gonna be a bigger help to you. So I'm gonna log in, and what I'm going to see first, well, is that I need to put in the actual accurate password. How about that? Hmm. We're having technical issues on the technology call tonight. <laughs> there we go. All right. Uh, I, I forget passwords too. If you do forget your password type, click forgot password at the bottom of the screen. Now Jeannie says that she logged out for me last time. Do I want to resume where I left off or start a new day? I'm going to start a new day to show you what that's like. Um, and I come to my see a business coach and you will see good morning Larry I've been keeping track of your business and I've prepared your daily action plan whenever you're ready for it my daily action plan is my list my personalized list of things that I need to do today most of which are engaging with my prospects or my team to advance my business some of which will be if I'm just new to the ASEA business coach some of which will be training or if it's your very first time, it will be setting up your ASEA business coach, which takes about 10 or 15 minutes, okay? So if I want to look at what I have to do today, I say show me, and here are here is my personalized top 10 list of things to do today. Personalize my skills development with RI training. I know your team is using RI training. Jeannie knows about your RI training. She knows whether you're subscribed or not. 
And if you are subscribed, she will, she will uh, personally, it's actually number two on the list, she will remind you to get your training each day. Um, she's then asking me to have phone calls and getting started with some new prospects and do some training. Um, all of that is personalized to me. And when I'm ready to go for the day, um, I can simply touch, let's go, and Jeannie will show me the first thing she wants me to do, personalize my skills development with RI training. If I say yes to that, she'll give me some, an introduction to RI training, starting with an intro from Bobby Martin, which I know you all know Bobby, or you know of Bobby, um, and Bobby will give you a little bit of an introduction onto what it is, and then the founder of RI training uh, will teach you a little bit more too. If you're interested, you can take a skills assessment and sign up for RI training right there. Um, I'm going to just say no thanks and move on with my day. Next, she's telling me that I need to make a phone call with John Doe because that's where I am in the process. If I say skip, the next Sorry. thing. Sorry, Larry, just to, just to confirm, because I'm sure a lot of people will be wondering about that. Sure. The, the billing for the subscription for Jeannie and the subscription to RI is completely independent, isn't it? Yes, it is. Thank you for, for reminding me of that. Your subscription to the ASEA Business Coach is an ASEA auto ship. It's just like every other ASEA auto ship and you can control it in your auto ship manager in the back office. Your subscription to RI Training is through RI Training. Uh, one day we'll integrate that with your billing for the rest of ASEA, but today they are a separate company and a separate billing. So if you do choose to get started with RI Training, you can take a free assessment and if you subscribe, uh, you'll do it right there on their website at a special price that's been negotiated for a CL, okay? Thanks, Larry. You bet. So I'm now, you get the picture here, I'm being asked to work with these prospects. Um, and these prospects are my prospects and Jeannie knows exactly where I am in the, in the process for each one of them. Now John Doe, you'll remember, I just entered into Quick peek a few minutes ago, nine minutes ago, as a matter of fact, and it says the last thing I did with John was email. If I look down here at the bottom right of my screen, you'll notice a history section. And we can see everything that I have done so far with John. I added a contact manually. Jeannie added him to my list. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I had an interest, a face-to-face -face meeting with John and received permission to peak interest from him. I sent him a link to my opportunity page. I sent him a custom link to my library files and I emailed him information I promised. If I click this little plus sign next to it, I can also see the status of that email. I submitted that email through QuickPeak. It was processed by our system and it was delivered to John at my email address. Now all of that is accurate if you ever have an email that's caught up in a spam filter or bounces or something else, Jeannie will tell you and um, actually send you a text message about that happening so that you can fix that, that problem, okay? Now I'm going to switch quickly to my email application so you can see what Jeannie sends out. I've got some junk mail this morning, but here at the top of my screen I have two emails from the ASEA Business Coach. One is a copy, the second one does not say copy, it just says info I promised. The one that's a copy is to me as the ASEA associate, and it's exactly the same as the other one, except that at the top of this email it says this is a copy of the email sent to John Doe, and the links that are included in this email are special. The ones that come to me are not tracked. I can click on them and do whatever I want with them, and Jeannie will ignore what's being done. The version that I sent to John right here looks exactly the same, but his links are live Genie links. They're special ASEA business coach links, and when I click these links, Genie will track everything that John does with these links and report back to you. She will also be smart and respond to those clicks in a way that helps you engage. So let's show you. If I click on an, an introduction to ASEA, I now go to the web page. This is actually my personal web page with an ASEA opportunity video playing on it. Your time. 
you probably what recognize this video. I can zoom this video up for a better viewing experience. Do you feel fulfilled? Put it back down. At the end of the day, you're either. I can pause the video, change the volume. I can scrub through it. I want you to notice how far I am scrubbing through it here. If I move to about there, that's maybe 70% of the way through the video, and that's going to be important. And I'll pause that video. Okay, that was the first link in the email that I sent. The opportunity link, the quick peek, and that's the the link that uh, I would recommend you send in an, a, a first introduction. Just that first um, op, that first page, either the opportunity pitch or the athlete pitch or the medical pitch or whichever one is appropriate for your contact. The second link here, info for John. You'll remember that I sent John two other pieces of content that I chose. If I click on that link, we'll go to a special ASEA Business Coach created page that includes, I'm going to pause this video quickly, it includes both of the, the whole email that I sent to John, both of the links that I sent to John, and here are the two pieces that I sent him. ASEA Global Leader in Cellular Health and ASEA's mission, vision, and values document. And you'll notice that this document that I sent, I can download. Anything I send to my prospects can be downloaded or printed. And the video can be just as it was before, it can be zoomed up for a better viewing experience. It's and just as before, Jeannie will track how much yeah, so of this video your prospect so watches. Uh, it really so this time uh, we're gonna watch just for maybe 20% of the video, okay? So I've now interacted with both of those web links and I'm now gonna come back to my ASEA business coach, well, which is on the same browser here, and click back to the ASEA business coach, here I am. And I'm going to refresh the history in the bottom corner here. Normally you won't have to do this because you'll be coming to this not at the same time as John is watching your videos. Um, and you'll see that I've got some new things here. My email is dropped to the bottom. And if I look here, I can see that there's some new history under email. I opened that email one time and I clicked in that email. So I've been notified that all of that has happened. If I look at my opportunity page link, open this, this used to be just a, a single item, now it has a plus sign next to it because I viewed the ASEA opportunity video one time, 74% of the way through. So Jeannie kept track of that. Here is the custom link to library files, and there were two library files. ASEA Global Leader in Cellular Health, short. I viewed it one time, 24% of the way through. And ASEA Mission, Vision, and Values, that document one time. And when you view a, a document, it's automatically 100% of the way through. So everything that I've done with John or that John has done with me has now been reported to Jeannie. And as a result, she knows what to do next. She knows that John has engaged and that it's time for us to follow up with John already. Pretty cool, right? So you now have the ability to send anything you need to a prospect and find out exactly how they engage with it. Now, in a, a typical day, what you're going to be doing is letting Jeannie tell you that she's up here in the upper left corner and she's surrounded by red. She's surrounded by red because she's off. She is not actively helping you right now. If you click her, she will turn green and she'll ask you, what do you want? How can I help you? What's my next priority? She'll just take you to helping you do exactly what the next most important thing is in your business, or you can show your action plan again. You remember the action plan. The top of the list right now is a phone call with John Doe. I'm gonna say, let's go. And Jeannie's saying, we're ready. Whoops, I had already said I was, uh, I skipped John for the day. So I'm gonna go back there and say, manually say I want to do this one let's do the phone call with John Doe I'm going to click this little blue do it now and here we go now when I make a phone call to John the very first time I talk to John Jeannie offers me the opportunity to help me customize my interaction with John and Jeannie knows that in your warm market 
there, every communication is not the same. When you're as advanced and seasoned in the business as Justin and Nicole are, everybody you talk to is a cold contact. You've talked to everybody you know pretty much about ASEA already. And so they can use a consistent approach to talking to people. If you have, are still talking to your warm market, everybody is not the same. You don't talk to your sister the same way you talk to your doctor. You don't talk to your pastor the same way you talk to your attorney or your next door neighbor. Those are different kinds of contacts. And those are people with different kinds of interests. And you know them. They, they know that you know them and they expect you to interact with them in accordance with the relationship you have. So Jeannie can help you talk in a way that is sensitive to that. As you get stronger in the business, as you have more experience, you won't need this kind of help. You won't want this kind of help. But in the beginning, this really helps new people gain confidence and skill so that they can do this the best they can. So I'm going to allow Jeannie to interview me about John, who is presumably my friend. So I get two interviews. The first one is an interest interview. What is John like? And the second one is tell me about your relationship with John. So does John like to try new things, meet new people, or take a little risk investing in their future? Well, yes, John's that kind of guy. Is John health conscious, concerned about diet, nutrition, exercise, skin care? Um, yeah, John's like that too. Is John an athlete or is he training for an athletic event, a marathon, a triathlon, cycling, something like that? No, that's not John. Does he have any health issues I'm aware of? Uh, I'm not that I'm aware of. Is he a medical professional? No. Does he want or need to make some additional income? Well, who doesn't? Does John seem to care about his appearance or take interest in anti-aging skincare? Oh, John's a typical man in his 30s. He thinks he'll live forever. Not yet. Is John an avid skincare user? Not yet. Okay. So that's John's interest profile. And I'm going to submit those, those answers. Now Jeannie's asking me about my relationship with John so she can help me establish the tone of the conversation. How close is your relationship with John? It could be hot. I talk to John every day. This is my besties, my very, very best friends. I don't know how you say that in Australia, but I'm sure it's not like that. Warm, a, a friend or a regular contact, right? This is somebody that I talk to every week. Cool is somebody I know by name or face. This is somebody I pass in the hall at the office. I see at the grocery store. I know them. Uh, they know me, but we're really not friends. And cold, I have no idea about this person. I just met them. I don't know who the, anything about them. So. We're gonna say John is a hot contact for me. How would I respect, describe the respect I have for John? We talk to people that we respect differently than people who respect us. So in this case, does John look up to me more? Does John look, uh, do I look up to John more? Do we kind of consider each other equals or we don't know? Well, I'm gonna say we're kind of peers. When I communicate with John, how do I most often do it? By phone, how old is John? 31 to 49, what's John's gender? Uh, he's, he's traditional. And uh, how close do I live with John? Close, so close I can go see him. Local, I could go see him. Reachable, you know, he's in, he's in Brisbane, but I could get there and distant. No, I'm not, he's in Perth and I'm not going. So I'm gonna say John's local and now submit those answers, okay? Now, Armed with that information, Jeannie is going to bring me to a call script. This is a call that's appropriate to the stage I am in prospecting with John, the, the interest that John has in our business, and the relationship that I have with John. And you can see um, here on my call screen, I have a list of scripts that I can use with John. Now, this is not mandatory. You may do your business on Facebook, in person, or you may just be so polished or so experienced that you don't need to use call scripts. But Jeannie believes that we are with John on a follow-up call because I already talked to him in person. Maybe that's not true. Maybe all I did was collect his information and promise I'd get back to him and he knows nothing. So I'm gonna say that's what happened. We really wanna do an interest call with John, so I'm gonna change the script to interest. The rest of these tabs are other scripts that I might use on the phone today with John. This is my primary script, but this one is a three-way call. 
you may, in the course of doing uh, your prospecting, find that you would like to get somebody on the phone with you to do a better job. This is particularly true when you're following up or presenting, okay? And Genie has a magic function built in that is emergency three-way calls. This script will be used if you end up doing that, and I'll show you how in just a bit. You might end up needing to leave a message because they don't answer. Um, questions and answers. Are you ever panicked that they're gonna ask you a question you can't answer? Well, Jeannie's got a bunch of questions and answers in. How much does it cost? Um, why haven't I seen this on store shelves? Is this just salt water? Here are answers. Um, and you may, if you get lucky, on a very first call, they may ask to enroll. Probably that's gonna come a little later in the process. But if you need to, it's right there and you will feel smart and prepared because this will walk you through the process of enrolling them and helping them do that, okay? So you can go into this call confidently. I'm gonna come back to my interest script. Now notice over on the right side of the screen, here's all of my history with John. So I can review this before I dial the phone and make sure I know, geez, how much of that video did John watch? Looks like he viewed the vision, mission, and values and he watched 74% of the video. 74 is not 100, so I know he got bored partway through, but he made it most of the way. Okay, I know where he's at. I know what he knows and what he doesn't know. And when I'm ready to go, I start calling. Now, up here in the upper right, I have a call timer. This started automatically when I got to this screen, but I can reset it before I call, start it up again, okay? And I'm gonna dial the phone. And here's John's phone number right here ready to go, I could dial this right now, and I'm just gonna dial my own phone and start talking to John. Now, below here we have the script itself. At the top we have some reminders of what this call is for. We then have some call options. You'll recognize, recognize these from the interview we did. He's a hot prospect, um, our respect level is peer interest. Jeannie selected this for us an opportunity based on that profile we filled out. Um, she believes an opportunity interest will uh, suit the caller best. But we might change our mind and say, you know, it's actually this person's wife is already into Renew and I wanna to talk to him about Renew. So you'll notice as I change these, my script down below is changing too. Okay, so all of these options change my script in important ways, okay? So, when I'm ready to go, I say, he answered the phone, hey, how's it going? And I'm off to the races. As I read the script, if I wanna remember where I am, keep my place, I can simply click each one of these things and turn this little check mark green to indicate that I'm done with that section. Uh, there are questions and answers in the script. It's called redox signaling molecules. Have you heard of it? If I say yes or no, my script changes. Okay, you get the, the picture. And I just follow the script through. This particular script, because of the options I chose, is kind of longish. That's probably two minutes long. It's not as long as it looks like, okay? When I'm done with my call, I click end call and continue. If I am on a call and I need assistance, I can request a three-way call. Now, I haven't set this particular user up. This, she's saying, I'm sorry, Larry, I don't have any three-way call partners set up yet. I'll remind you to do it before your next call. If you know in advance you're gonna be needing this, you can use Jeannie's settings over here on the left and give her the phone numbers of some people who are prepared to help you. So, I'm sorry I didn't get that set up. If I had three-way callers, their names would show up here. It would say Justin, Nicole, and Johnny, are people that are prepared to help me on this call, and I'll have a checkbox next to all three of them, and I can choose who's gonna get notified that I need help. While I'm still on the phone with my prospect, with John, I can say, request assistance, and all three of them will immediately get a text message saying that Larry is in immediate assistance of an urgent three-way call, he's on the phone with Johnny. And one of them can get that touch their phone and say, I'll accept the challenge, and they'll immediately dial you, you can conference them in, and when you do, Jeannie will help you talk through that process. They'll help you, Jeannie will help you introduce your three-way caller, 
and introduce your prospect and just help you take notes during the, the call, okay? So it's an amazing way for you to, uh, to get assistance. So Larry, I haven't actually used that function. So Jeannie has a script for edification and introduction for, for your upline and your mentors to help you with the three ways, is that right? That's correct. So when you set up your Jeannie, you can actually write your own introduction. This is how I would like somebody to introduce me when they call, because they may not know me that well, right? This might be the first time they're using me and I don't know how to introduce Justin. Uh, I don't know if, I, I want to edify Justin, want to make him sound great because that's important to a three-way call, but I don't know enough to do that. And I don't know if he'll blush when I do that. And so Justin's going to write his own and I'm going to read it. Okay. So when I'm done with the call, I'm going to end the call and continue. And I'm going to see a somewhat busy screen here. This looks a little complicated, but it's not. Jeannie needs to know what happens every time you interact with one of your prospects. We call that a contact report. And if she knows what happened, what you did and how it turned out, she can help you take the next step. So this is really quite simple. It's in three pieces that go from left to right, green, blue, red. We start on the left side with done. What was just done? It was a phone call with John Doe. She says it was a follow-up. We actually decided to do an interest call. When was it completed? Right then. And I could add some notes. Jeannie wants to know how did it go? Well, John was interested and wants to know more. Or John had no time. We're going to try again to peak interest later. Or he said, you know, I'm not really interested right now. Well, can I call you back in a, in a, a few months? Sure, sure. Okay, that, that happens a lot, right? Um, or he said, no way. You know, I, I, I'm just not interested right now. My life's too busy. And I have said, I don't want to keep trying with John. I've tried too many times. Or John cussed at me. He treated me terribly on the phone. I don't ever want to contact John again, or I just missed him. He wasn't there. Okay, so whatever happened, I tell Jeannie what happened, and you may notice that as I was clicking these options over here in the blue and pink, the screen is changing because Jeannie knows based on what happened, she's going to recommend different things to me. So I'm gonna say John's interested, and he sa she says, my recommendation is to schedule a time to follow up with John. Makes sense, right? So here's what she's recommending, a phone call, because my last one was a phone call. That must be how I'm dealing with John Doe. What are we gonna do? A follow-up to evaluate his interest, and when are we gonna do it? She's saying today, but let's not do it today. Let's do it, let's do it Thursday at, a little later in the day might be better, at 10 a.m. So Thursday at 10 a.m., and I'd like to remind me about this call with a text message. 15 minutes before it happens. And I'd like to remind John with a phone call. He agreed to meet with me. So we're gonna send him a text that's a reminder for his meeting with Larry in 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Then we come here to the wrap up. Jeannie recommends that we send a quick thank you text. Actually, it says have Jeannie send a quick thank you text and promise that you'll send an email and then we're gonna send that email right away. So you look very polished. Your assistant is gonna send an email and then you're gonna send it. So here it is. Here's, this, here's the, the message that Jeannie is gonna send on your behalf. Thanks, John. I'm sending you the email I promised. I'll follow up with you on 720 at 10 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Now, that's because John, when I entered him into my, into my phone, uh, Jeannie assumed that John was in my time zone. If John is not, I can simply change John's record and tell Jeannie where he is, and Jeannie will adjust this message to be in his time zone so that all of you are coordinated, okay? So I'm going to leave this little checkbox sent so that John gets sent a text message from Jeannie, and I'm going to keep this checkbox sent. It says the next screen, we're going to email some information to John. So now this screen is done. Here's what I did and how it went. Here's schedule for my next interaction with John and instructions to wrap up. I click next to send info and immediately John gets sent a text message. So that text message has flown off and John is getting what we sent. And I'm now here ready to send an email to John. So 
John, hi, John. Here's a link to the video we talked about. Look better in 28 days. Um, I'm excited to talk again on July 20th at 10 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Talk to you soon. And my signature block. This signature block I put in myself. You can configure your own. I can edit this message. This is just Jeannie's suggestion for the message that I send. Um, up here on the top left, I have a bunch of email templates. These are results of an interest call. Here's our outcomes from a follow-up call that went well or poor or okay. There's a generic script that I can start from. It doesn't matter where I start. Jeannie just takes the script that I say and notice that as I change it, like if that call had gone poorly, here's what we would respond. Hi, John. I just want to thank you for taking some time to let me share a SEO with you. I'm excited about it, but I recognize it's not a good fit for you right now, and I appreciate you listening to me anyway. Have an amazing day. Now, these scripts are all um, default scripts right now. Um, these may be adjusted in time by Justin and Nicole and your, your team. If you have feedback about any of the call scripts or email templates that you're seeing, give that feedback to Justin and Nicole, and they have the ability to make changes that are appropriate for your team and for Australia and New Zealand. So I'm gonna go back and say, we're gonna use the interest well script. Now I also have my library here on the right side. I have a library of all the things that you saw in the mobile application. I can look at the recently used library items. You'll recognize at the top of my list right now are the two library items that I sent in my last email, the mission, vision, and values, and the global leader video. All of your, this will be unique to you, of course, your recent files, so you can find them easily. Um, prospecting contains the files that are most used around the world by ASEA Associates. You might find those useful, and I can search for anything I want. If I click on all and search for anything, say Denny Robinson, here are three videos that include Denny, right? So it's a very powerful feature here to get at all these library items. And if I want to send one of them in addition to what I have there in my email, again, I just click whatever it is, the ASEA Renew 28 brochure, and my email is automatically adjusted to include a link with that ASEA 28 brochure. Now I can change anything I want here, you know, blah, 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 I'll put in some gibberish. And when I'm ready to send this email, I click preview and send, and I see this screen where I can confirm that this is gonna be exactly what I want. I can also take the opportunity now to click on either of these links and make sure that they're what I want. I want, to, I want to have the experience that John's going to have before John has it so that I feel confident about what I'm sending him. I can do that by clicking these links. Now, one last thing I wanna point out before uh, I send this off is the header of the email here. This is going to be sent to John's email address, which is really me. Here's the subject line, Info I Promise, which I can change on the previous screen right there. Notice the from address says, reply to Larry at aseaglobal.com, Larry McFarlane. Now that is not my real email address. That email address is chosen for you, you won't select it. And that is chosen specifically to maximize the deliverability of your email. ASEA Global is a reputation managed domain by ASEA and by Jixity, and we make sure that emails that come from that get delivered and don't get caught up in spam filters. So that's why that email address is what it is. But notice there's a fourth line now, reply to, and replies, if your prospect clicks reply on your email, the reply actually comes directly to you at your real email address, okay? So it's a little bit sophisticated on purpose. That's the way it's, that's the reason it works that way. So I'm gonna now click send email. That email goes off and you already know what happens to emails sent with Genie. That will go off and everything that happened there will be tracked. Once I send that off, I come back to my main screen of the ASEA Business Coach and Genie proposes to me the next thing, next most important thing to do in my day is to get started with Gina Day, somebody else that I added to my list, okay? So that's the process that I'm gonna go through day to day in working with Jeannie. Now, because I got on the phone late, 
we are late. Um, I am happy to continue if you would like, Justin and Nicole, but I also want to provide everybody the opportunity to get some sleep. So if we want to end it right there, we can. Um, and I will come back um, in a, a, a day or two or three. I'll work something out with Justin and Nicole and continue this uh, from here. Yeah. What Look, maybe like a to... couple of questions I uh, have, Larry. That let's would be let's great. do that. Thank you so much for, for what you've shared already. That's been awesome training. Um, maybe if you could just clarify, is there any cost if, we're, if Australian accounts are texting people? Or is that included in the Genie subscription? That's a great question. Um, it is included in the Genie subscription for now. Okay. <laughs> Genie sends us uh, different kinds of text messages at different times. Um, she sends some text messages on your behalf to your contacts that you just saw me do. She sends text messages to remind you and your prospect of the meetings that you have. And she sends notifications to you about things going on in your business. In fact, I'm going to show you here my text message screen. I've, I've, received, I've been receiving texts again the last few days about people that have been joining the business and so forth. So that's, okay. that's been awesome for me. I think it's really inspiring. I, I'm, I suspect that, uh, that many of you have been receiving those messages. So let me... Um, let me share this with you quickly and show you this experience. Come on. There we go. All right. So this is my genie is sending me these things. And you can see the kinds of things that I receive. When you enroll somebody, you see things like this. Larry McFarlane has started ABC Setup and has completed part one. And I've emailed you Larry's interview answers. We'll do this on the next call. We'll show you how setup works when you introduce somebody to Genie the first time. So when you set up your Genie, you're going to have text messages are going to be sent to your sponsor. So a bunch of things there. Um, there's an opportunity during setup to get contact information sent to your phone. You'll see that. Um, let's see. Here's a sample of the reminders that are sent. Uh, when you've got a mess, a meeting scheduled, ABC reminder, phone call with Larry McFarlane at 1 p.m. MDT. Okay, here's what happens when somebody clicks a link in an email you send. It may take them a few hours or a few days and you get this message. ABC, Drew McFarlane just clicked a link you sent for the first time. Details are in ABC. That's really powerful. You meet somebody at the grocery store, a few hours later they get home and click a link. And depending on how that person was, you may choose to call them right now. They're watching the video right now, and you have the opportunity to call them. Justin and Nicole will train you on when is best to do that and when not. Okay, so you get, you get an idea. Some of these things are, are uh, optional, and some of them just happen automatically to you as you use Genie. Now, I said for now about text message fees because Text messages cost a lot more in Australia and New Zealand than they cost in the United States, um, five to 10 times more. And um, there's a chance that we may have to start sent, uh, offering you the opportunity to purchase bundles of text messages to, uh, and let you decide which messages you receive. Um, but for now, it's free, so eat up. Um, use all you can. We're going to see how that usage goes, and uh, and we'll let you know more down the road. Well, can will with volume, will you be able to get better deals with that, Larry? So the more of us that are using it, the more that are using the text, will will that be able to help reduce the costs or the or increase the buying power for you? I, I hope so. Uh, we are also evaluating different texting providers to get better rates. We're going to do everything we can to provide you all of this. Our goal is to make it really, really no-brainer uh, economical for you to be building your business with the ASEA Business Coach. Um, okay. We don't make any money at all on text messaging. That's not the point. Yeah. Uh, we want to pass the cost on to you directly and as, as little as possible. I just got three text messages from Jeannie saying three people have signed up. It's awesome. Okay. Awesome. Very inspiring. <laughs> right. so he loves those text messages. He won't let them come to my phone. 
You will receive text messages as you begin using this about everyone who enrolls in, in your organization, everyone who rank advances in your organization, um, messages about auto ship, starts and cancels, there's, and there's more and more coming. So this is a great service. Fantastic. A right. couple of other uh, questions was, uh, with the uh, email signatures, can, can we put our own email signatures in? I have spoke to you once before about this, and they have to be correctly coded HTMLs. That's right, isn't it? That is correct. Yeah, you and can. the reality is not many people actually have the skill to do that. So people will probably have to pay someone to have a HTML signature created. Uh, is there any kind of vetting process we need to go through, Larry, to make sure, uh, like when my email signature started to play up, it actually started to stop my emails going out through Ginny? How do you suggest that we, we roll that out? All right, so I would suggest that for now, that's a great question. Um, and one that we need to give us some attention to that for now you you uh, not include an image in your email address in Genie in you see a business coach um, and we will address this and get back to you in a, a, a future call okay so I would like to make it possible for you to just cut and paste anything you want into your email signature and uh, right now that's not working properly okay great thank you um, the date format for Australia, uh, you know, Australians being down under and our toilet goes down the opposite way and things like that, our <laughs> date's different, you know, it just could be a little bit confusing for, for us Southern Hemisphere people. Will we have the day and then the month and then the year or is yes. that just the standard? Yes. If, if, if uh, Jeannie knows you're in Australia and that uh, you can't handle the correct date format, then... <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys, are, you're the only ones in the world who do it that way. <laughs> Europe does it the same way as us. I actually know that. I know it's, but uh, sarcasm is my love language. <laughs> okay. So, um, the time zones does Jeannie automatically uh, recognize all the time zones of Australia? You know, we're a big continent like the US mainland. Uh, she does not automatically recognize all the time zones. So you will have to, you, she does know about all the time zones in the world, but you'll have to choose your time zone correctly. Okay. She makes an attempt to do that, but I'm uh, intentionally footnoting here and saying, I, I'm not sure she does. We haven't tested that well enough. Please inform us. If you live somewhere and she did not guess your time zone correctly so that we can get that fixed. But if she doesn't, you can manually select your time zone and that is important. Yeah, fantastic, thank you so much. Well look, um, I think it's probably a good time to wrap it up. It's 2, 10, 20 p.m. here tonight. Um, I, the Tuesday nights at this time frame does suit us very well and the fact that we're already on team calls earlier in the evening, we do a standard team training early in the evening and product. And so what do you think, Nicole, and, and about doing a repeat at the same time zone? We uh, actually have the next frame, call. We have another call Larry. booked with Larry, um, which is on, let me just get it up here. We booked this last week. Sorry, my computer's being a bit crazy this evening. Um, it is at 9 a.m. on the 29th of July. Um, which is a Saturday on oh, that's Queensland time. So 9am Australian Eastern Standard Time. So that'll be 11am for the Kiwis and 7am for the Western Australians. That's correct. Um, so that, that's about yeah, a week and a half away and that's a much more reasonable time for Larry to jump on the... Yeah, that's the... right. Larry doesn't have to get up ridiculously early. Well, I am so sorry for the way that went this morning. I, uh, I'm actually building a deck right now and uh, I was up until one in the morning working on my deck. My hands are all gross from deck junk and uh, I forgot to set my alarm. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Forgive me, I won't let that, that happen again. Um, I am happy to do a call between now and then if it helps. Let Justin and Nicole know I'm your partner in the business. We are happy to take your calls and your emails and text messages to help you with a business coach as well. So our support email address is support at jixity.com. Jixity is spelled J-I-X-I-T-I. -I -I. Well, here, I'll put this in the, there you go. 
support at Jixity.com. Um, and send anything you want there. I also didn't show you, but Genie includes um, a, a, a very important button uh, in the, the user interface right here in the bottom right corner of every Genie screen is a button that says love, feedback, or bug. We love the love, so give it, tell us what you love. It keeps us going, but this is also here uh, for you to, to tell us if you're having a problem. And you can put in um, help subject and tell us whatever you need to do. You can report problems. You can whatever you need. Okay. I can't figure out how to, right? And I send that off, and my support team is now going to say, what the heck was that? Okay. So there's... <laughs> There, is, uh, there are lots of ways to get us, and we, we want to be your partners in the business. We will work closely with Jessica and Nicole and ASEA to make sure you have what you need, but you are going to have, every one of you is unique with perspectives and experience that are different. We'd like to hear about that and what you would like to see in the, the product, and we'll do our best to help you. Uh, because of the time zone difference, we're gonna have a little lag that um, is, unfortunate but we typically will respond to you within about three hours of the time we receive your message okay our just awesome, Nicole. Larry thank you so much it's been Larry. fantastic we're really looking forward to getting Jenny cranking and really I think it's extremely empowering for all of our businesses just being organized being able to track everything and what an, what an amazing tool you've created so super Super grateful to be partnering with you to create this uh, tool for everyone. And uh, we'll sign off and say good night. Hey, Nikki, anything else? No, that's all. Thank you so much, Larry, for being here. And uh, if anyone has any you know, feedback on things they'd like customised, Jeannie, get them to myself and Justin because we're customising it for our team. So. Yeah, unmuted you all. You want to say good night to Larry? That'd be awesome. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, Larry. Thank you.